Best tip I can give you, and I'm sure that a lot of technicians have went down the road and they're seeing misfire counts on their scan tool or they're filling a misfire in the engine, and you ask yourself the question, I wonder if this misfire is caused from a lack of spark or a lack of fuel. This tip that I'm about to give you will not only help you tremendously in gasoline direct injection, but help you on any engine that has a rear oxygen sensor and a catalytic converter operation. If you think about it, how much oxygen is in the air? There's 21% oxygen in the air. If we have a good combustion process, we have a good burn, how much of that oxygen is utilized? Almost all of it. You can't really say all of it because how would the oxidation in the converter happen or how would oxygen sensors work if we didn't have any oxygen left over? The reality is we're really less than 1% oxygen. So in a good combustion event, we have approximately 1% oxygen left over or a little less than 1%. So we're going down the road and we feel a misfire. This is what I would like you to do. I would like you to look to the rear oxygen sensor. Let's think about it. Let's say our misfire is caused from a lack of spark. So with a lack of spark, if we didn't have a good spark to ignite combustion, how much oxygen ended up into the exhaust? 21%. So 21% oxygen is presented to the catalytic converter with raw fuel. Think of the converter as a miniature oven. Combustion does occur inside that converter. So what will the rear oxygen sensor see? Well, it's going to, all rear oxygen sensors to date are narrow band oxygen sensors. What does a narrow band oxygen sensor do when it's presented with an abundance of fuel? It goes high. So if you look to the rear oxygen sensor and you see during the misfire that the rear oxygen sensor voltage is high, you know that your misfire is from spark. If you look at it and it's low, you know that your misfire was a lack of fuel. In either condition, either the lack of spark or the lack of fuel, you end up with 21% oxygen presented to the exhaust manifold and the upstream oxygen sensor. So, lack of fuel, we're going to have the 21% oxygen presented to the converter, but there isn't any fuel. So what's the rear oxygen sensor going to do? It's going to drop in voltage. Now obviously, in a short period of, t in a short period of time, we're going to see that the computer will react and turn off the injector. So you've got to be quick at this because very shortly, if it is a high rate of misfire in a 200 RPM spectrum, the computer's going to follow up with turning off the injector. If you look at the slide here, we have a misfire on a Ford EcoBoost. Now, the EcoBoost Ford utilizes a, what Ford calls a universal heated exhaust gas oxygen sensor. This is their wideband air fuel ratio sensor. So our PID is showing us amperage on the wideband. Amperage will go up as oxygen is presented to the exhaust system compared to the atmosphere. So if we're extremely lean, the amperage goes high. If we're ex extremely rich, the amperage goes low. So you can see the spike because we had a misfire. The spike goes up on the left-hand column, but look at what's happening to the rear oxygen sensor in the right. The voltage is starting to climb up. That immediately tells me that there was an ignition misfire. But in a very short period of time, after the misfire was concurring and it was a high rate of misfire, Look what happened. We still have the left side, we still have the amperage high, indicating that we have an abundance of oxygen in the exhaust, but look, our rear oxygen sensor is all the way down, almost not visible on our graphing scan tool, but we're at 0.03. That means that there is no fuel. So what happened was there was a misfire, a high rate of misfire initially. We seen that in the oxygen spike up, and we knew it was spark because the voltage went high on the rear O2, but the computer quickly reacted and turned the injector off. With no fuel, the rear oxygen sensor fell all the way down to 0.03.
So you can utilize the rear oxygen sensor to pinpoint whether or not your misfire is a lack of spark or fuel. And that is a wealth of information when you're trying to figure out misfires.